Beard Blog. Hello everybody and welcome to my latest Beard Blog. On today's blog, I'm going to be giving you five top tips on how to actually grow a beard. And before I start my top tips, a majority of beard growth is genetic. You can generally get a rough idea of how you can grow a beard by looking at some of your relatives, say like your your father, your grandfather. If they have good, healthy beards, chances are you'll be able to grow one as well. If they have patchy beards, generally that will pass over. But my top five tips will actually help you encourage that hair growth and help grow a full healthy beard. Counting down from number five, number five is exfoliate your skin. This is aimed at people who haven't grown a beard or haven't started to grow a beard yet. You need to make sure that your skin is healthy underneath. You need to make sure it doesn't have any ingrown hairs. You need to exfoliate the area give it a scrub, use something like a facial moisturizer, something like that, something to get that skin really, really clean. Now you only have to really exfoliate, say once a week, but it really does make a vital difference. Number four, exercise and rest. It's a proven fact that if you exercise, the testosterone gets going in your body and it helps the growth of the hair. But at the same time, rest is vitally important. Exercise increases the blood circulation, which in turn increases the blood flow to the face, which again increases the beard. Now, a lot of beauty and health experts believe that stress can actually bring on loss of hair. So if we can relax, if we can rest, I mean, resting itself and sleep actually helps fix any damaged skin cells. So when we've exfoliated, we can make sure the face is clean, go and have a good rest and get a good night's sleep as the body repairs itself. Number three, Diet and nutrition. Now it's vital you get a good substance of protein in your diet, such as meat, eggs, fish, and nuts. They all help encourage the hair growth. But at the same time, you still need to make sure you're getting your vegetables, which contain all of those important vitamins and minerals that our body needs. Number two is supplements. Now there's things like biotin, which is proven to actually help encourage hair growth in your body, as well as also helps encourage the nail growth. So you can take one biotin tablet a day, and that really will encourage that growth. At the same time, you've also got things like tribulus and horny goat weed. Both of those are known to encourage the male testosterone, which in itself encourages hair growth, but there's no scientific proven fact to support this. I now have used both in the past. Uh, I've only just literally stopped taking tribulus and I did notice an increase in the facial hair as well as like the chest hair and the back hair. So you can't localize it, but it's definitely helping with that testosterone, which in turn helps with the beard growth. Number one, finally, my last tip to help you with your beard growth is do not shave it. Resist that urge. It's an old wives tale that they say, if you shave the beard off, it will grow back thicker and faster. There is no scientific evidence to support this at all. If you let your beard grow, once it's gone for about six to eight weeks, then you can start to shape it. Then you can cut it how you want to. If it starts to itch, there are various routes you can take. I myself use a beard shampoo. You get them from Lush, for example, and you just scrub that in and it helps treat all of the skin underneath your beard. As opposed to using a normal shampoo, it's specifically designed to be used on your face and it really, really does help. But failing that, you could also go and speak to your doctor or your GP who could prescribe you with some hydrocortisone, which stops and really does soothe that itching. But that may have an adverse effect on the hair growth because it is actually treating and repairing the skin. 
So that's it guys, basically if you follow those five tips, you will grow a beard, it will flourish and you too will have a healthy mane on your face. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and feel free to subscribe and make sure you check out the next episode of Beard Blog where I'll be hitting my local streets and asking women what do they really think of beards on men. Do they really like it or is that something that us men have fantasised? <laughs> to make ourselves feel better about growing a mane. Until next time, thanks for watching, goodbye.